Hello everyone, we are here today with Wesleyan's Men's Soccer Brain Trust as we feature head coach Jeff Wheeler going into his 12th season with the Cardinal Men's Soccer Team and also with us today a newly hired assistant coach Woody Redpath just graduated in 2010 and is a 2009 NCAA, well uh, or we'll say NSCAA uh, second team All-American and All New England, All NESCAC as he helped Wesleyan come through with an undefeated regular season last year at 10 and 4 and go on to the NESCAC tournament. We, Wesleyan hosted the Final Four, uh, did not win the tournament championship, but gave it a good run, qualified for the NCAAs for the third time in the last five years and won a couple of games and eventually fell to Rochester in overtime at the sectional semifinals last year. But a great run for the Cardinals uh, with an overall record of 12, 2 and 5. Um, so we're going to sit here and talk a little bit to head coach Jeff Wheeler, as I mentioned, in his 12th season with Wesleyan, graduate of Dartmouth College. Uh, what do we see coming off that fabulous season last year, Jeff, and knowing we've had a few losses, including that of Woody Redpath, uh, from the ranks of that uh, undefeated regular season team last year? Well, I think we have a lot of exciting pieces returning, and despite the graduation of Mr. Redpath here and his uh, classmates, uh, I think there's some great young talent returning and um, the leadership uh, question mark uh, that uh, uh, we're all going to face because of the graduation of Red Path again and, and, and his cohorts um, is, is the question mark going forward. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about the leadership? I know we have three captains, tri-captains coming in for this year with Jeff Sartarian and Jacob Mergendaller and Tim Dodds. So. Let's start with that, our, our senior leadership for the 2010 season. I think we have excellent leadership. I, I, I don't think we have a question of leadership. I just think we have a, a question of how the pieces are going to fall together. And last year they fell together so nicely when we went to Argentina, which was a, um, a, a great opportunity for the team to gel early in the year. Mm -hmm. um, and without that, uh, this coming year we're going to be forced to gel even earlier. Um, and I know that Dodds, Zartarian, and Mergendaller are are eager to make that happen quickly. We're going to just say hi to one Jacob Mergendaller as uh, this shot taken from last year's opening contest at Williams where uh, Jacob had the tying goal late in the second half as the Cardinals forged a 1-1 tie with the Eves, and also here a shot from the Springfield game of tri-captain Jeff Sartarian uh, in control of the ball as they are two of the three tri-captains from last year. Tell us also, Jeff, about the returning All-American in goal for Wesleyan as the NESCAC Rookie of the Year and third-team All-American. Adam Purdy is back in the Cardinal net. Well, it's always uh, going to be good to have Adam Purdy in goal, and uh, the fact that we get to enjoy that for another three years is very exciting for Wesleyan soccer. And um, because of that, I think we're, we're going to continue to be com competitive, no doubt about it, when he's in goal. And, um, and soccer is such a difficult game to score goals, so um, with Adam there, you know, you know we're going to be in the games going forward. Great. And who other, who other among the returnees would we like to make specific mention of as stalwarts for this upcoming season? Well, certainly Jacob as a center back and captain is going to be a, a key cog at the, in the back line, and Harrison Lewin, our returning left back, um, it, it, who will be a junior is really maturing and uh, is also going to play a, a key in the leadership quotient um, going forward and um, in the midfield Zartarian and Austin Woolridge are both returning seniors um, mm -hmm. who, who had significant minutes in the wide areas and will be leaned on even more heavily this year. Well excellent and Mr. Redpath who also played hockey for the Cardinals as a uh, forward for four years as well what uh, do you think you can add to this team as an assistant coach this year, having just graduated and being very familiar with uh, most of the returning Cardinals? Uh, first of all, just uh, for co someone to listen to or coach can bounce ideas off of. Uh, I, I know we've got had Stoney, but it might help to have a little younger perspective mm -hmm. on it. <laughs> uh, and just coming out of college, being that close to all the, the other players, I think I'll be able to, if they're... Hmm, just be, just to have that relationship that's already in place there will be easier for me to, I don't want to say assert my dominance over them or not dominance, but hopefully have that respect 
earlier in the season rather than having them to, or having me earn it from them. Absolutely. It's always it's already in place. I'm I'm sure <laughs> the transitioning uh, with someone of your nature and longstanding uh, uh, abilities and the fact that you can relate so well to right. the players at this point. Not that Jeff has ever needed. Uh, right. Jeff always has a way of getting through to his players that uh, I, I think has been evident for years, and especially by the, the team's play. And speaking of the team's play, Jeff, we're going to open with the NESCAC defending tournament champions taking on the NESCAC regular season champions in Westland as the Williams College East will invade Middletown on September 11th for the opener. What do you envision in that uh, exciting matchup as both not just NESCAC, but Little Three uh, activity? Well, it's always a tight match with, with the East, no question, whether it's up at their place or it's, or it's here at ours. And uh, we look forward to it. I think it's great when you play good teams, and the earlier in the season, the better, because you find out where you are. It's a great benchmark. And um, regardless of the score, both teams are going to improve dramatically over the course of the 14 game season. And, um, you know, it, history would suggest that we perhaps will see them again uh, before the season is out. So, uh, it's one game, we're excited for it, but there are many others for us to be ready for as well. Are you willing to go on record with a prediction for this 2010 Cardinal squad? Uh, our goal is to be uh, as good as we possibly can, and last year that was, uh, was, was, was pretty good. And this year, um, you know, I think the pieces are there to um, equal that, um, but there's still some question marks that need to be answered to see if we can reach that uh, juncture again. Well, I'm sure all the Cardinal faithful are very much looking forward to this 2010 season, especially one Peter Stein, class of 84, who seems to have become our staff photographer and can't get enough of Wesley and men's soccer, that's for sure. So I want to thank uh, Coach Wheeler and Coach Redpath for joining us here today as we get set for this exciting 2010 Wesley and men's soccer season. And uh, good luck and, and best foot forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.